Hello my lovely frugal friends, how are you all just doing? December is nearly finished when I am recording this, but by the time you are watching it, I think Sunday, 31st, New Year's Eve, if you really want to watch a YouTube video on New Year's Eve, it is on pretty early, probably half four, so go for it. But this video is the end of December haul, groceries, what did we buy, how much did we spend, did we keep to budget, did Christmas really massively affect the budget? Hmm, we shall see. So this video will just close out December and then the video after this one will be a roundup of 2023's groceries. How did we do all in all in the whole year? Which means I will be spending a day going through my whole videos to find out how much I spent because I didn't keep a tally. Oh, never mind. Let's focus on this one for now. Let's have a look at how December went. First purchase of the month was in the local shopping area, going to the cobblers. Yes, there is still a cobblers near me, a little tiny one. Does cobbling of shoes and keys for really good prices. So not a big known brand, just a local little shop and on the way out, I grabbed some milk and these were £1.9p. They've been reduced actually in Aldi. So what's that? £2.18 for some milk just to top us up to keep us going. A little bit of a, um, oleo haul. So we've got a couple of bags of mixed salad leaves. Those will keep us going. A broccoli that, yeah, if you look, yes, it's slightly yellowing. However, I will chop this up use it either within the next couple of days if i don't it will get frozen so that's easy enough and oh who does not love a doorstop slice of bread with butter on and i hate to say it homemade bread is lovely but a slice of bread white bread thick white bread with butter on there's just something about it this is what we've got today and we have got tea because I just used the tea out of the cupboard and it's gone in the teapot container. Light soy, dark soy, one for colour, one for flavour and intensity. Uh, nutritional yeast because we've run out. Raspberry Swedish glass which is the most divine ice cream ever in the world. I eat it and I normally get reflux with ice cream. This does not give me reflux. This is amazing. Spotted some Kievs and they were reduced, so I thought we'd have those for tea tonight. And the first of the season, some mince pies. These are from Marks and Spencers. I got these on the um, 12 Days of Christmas on the Sparks app. So I got these for free. They look lovely. And so altogether, this came to £11.38. Nip to Costco, milk, because it is the cheapest place at the moment, um, at 3 19 a container. So, what's that? 19 divided by 3, 6p. Yeah, so £1.6p 6 per container, so it is the best price I have seen. And some spring rolls, because we are out, and I know I'm going to want to do some kind of Christmas Chinese-y thing on Christmas Eve. So those are going to go for that. So all together at Costco, that was £13.37. Just back and got some bits and bobs that we needed. So I've picked up my Vital Wheat Gluten from Unicorn. While we were there, we got a little bit of black pudding. Yummy. Except this is vegan black pudding and it is absolutely delicious. So if you want to try black pudding but don't like the idea of the blood, this is really good. Got some cranberry sauce from Tesco's while we spotted it. So we can tick the cranberry sauce off the list, which I got for a pound because it was reduced on the um, club card bonuses. Now the rest of the stuff I've got, so I've got this bread, this bread, this bread, these bananas, and this lovely rose off Olio. So all those were free. So it was one pound for the cranberry and it was... £7.85 for the stuff from Unicorn. So £7.85, £8.85. Added on the corner, but not a bad little haul from Olio. And the bananas are just going to go straight in the freezer, ready for banana bread. Oh, 
I'm pooped. I'm just back from walking the dog and I did an oleo pick up while I was out. Two big bags worth. There was a bunch of flowers on this one as well, but I gave them to my friend who lives a couple of doors away from me because she's my friend and that's what you do. You pass along, you know, the generosity. She's like, what these are for? I was like, well, they're just for. So what else did we get? Some oven bottoms. Some brown sliced wholemeal rolls. Some more wholemeal bat. Why do we have so many? We have rolls and baps and oven bottoms. So many different ways to describe something that's very similar. <laughs> what do you call them where you are? Right, if you're having this, what is it? For me, that would be a chip bap. So, there we go. What would you call it? We got some tomatoes. They're probably not the best flavoured in the world. We're from Morocco, but you know, they were for nothing and it's quite nice to have some tomatoes in. Some more bananas that are just gonna go in the freezer. I'm due to make banana bread probably next week. A head of broccoli. Another head of broccoli. A loaf of thick white. Always the best for toast. And a mahoosive cauliflower. That is a mahoosive one. I remember the last time I bought, got a cauliflower on Oleo. It was the tiniest little thing ever. Barely fit in the palm of my hand, but this is a hefty beast. So, there we go. A really great Oleo haul. So, let me tell you what I'm going to do. Bread's all going to go in the freezer. I have cleared out the freezer a little bit because I had loads of berries from... In fact, I'll give you a quick... I had loads of berries um, in the freezer, about three bags of them. So I've cooked them down. Um, I've just got to add some sugar to this. I'll hopefully get some kind of semblance of a jam. I'm not the best at making jam. I either make it so hard it can end up like a rubber ball or it still ends up runny. So hopefully we'll be on the runnier side as opposed to the one that looks like it could, you know, be part of a sporting event. It bounces that much. Um, so that makes space for some of the breads. The broccoli, I am just going to top it. So I've got broccoli florets. Same with the cauliflower. I'm going to put them on a couple of trays in the freezer. <clears throat> quick freeze those down. So I've got a quick freeze function on the freezer. So I can just press that button and it freezes everything up and I'll bag those up. Like I say, bananas are going to go in for banana bread. The tomatoes, I might roast them. Might make a bit of a deeper flavour and then pop them in the fridge and use them in different dishes over the next week. Because once they're roasted, they'll last pretty good in a sealed container. So that's the plan. That's what we've done. And it cost us the big zero. There you go. Just thought I'd show you. There's all the broccoli florets chopped off. These stems... Now, I've used one um, a stem up before from a previous broccoli today. I just chopped it up very small and diced it, and it's actually gone in here, and it's so small. Let me see if I can, I can't even find a piece of it. <laughs> it's disappeared into the ether of this cottage pie mix. But chop it up really, really small. But what I'm going to do with these, actually, these are going to go into the freezer as well. Um, just as is, and then take them out when I need them. Onto the cauliflower next. Back from shopping with quite a big haul this time. Let me go through everything and explain what is for what. So, at the back here, I have three bags of sweet and crunchy lettuce, and I think three bags of butterhead lettuce. A cucumber, a couple of things of tomatoes, some feta cheese and peppers. That is all going towards, it's my mother-in-law's 90th birthday this weekend. So I'm making a massive salad. I'm making a couple of quiches with feta and peppers in. And I'm going to make a focaccia bread. So that's why I've also got some extra white bread flour because I wasn't 100, well... I'm pretty certain I've not got quite enough in. Red onions because we're nearly out of red onions, plus I want to put some red onions in the salad. So that is most of that. Oh, and in this bag is my flour. I don't know if you can see that. Move my hand out of the way and you can focus. My bag of flour there, my plain flour, that's for my pastry, for my quiches. 
because it's in there because it was leaking very slightly and I wasn't fussed about having it replaced because I'm going to use it up pretty quick. So the majority of that back area is all for that. Also included in that is I did get some eggs from my friend Rachel. So that's £3 for two packs of eggs and you should see the size of some of these which is the one that's got oh my days look at that one. That is a massive egg. Let me put it there and compare it to like that one. It's massive in comparison. <laughs> it's a big, a huge, in fact, I think that one's possibly even bigger. So they're absolutely gorgeous eggs. And again, that's, a lot of that's gonna go into the quiche. Anyway, onward with the rest. Noodles, cause we are out, plus two packs of noodles for the Christmas list so I can cross that off then oh forgot about that some of that cream is going to go in the quiche so I bought four packs of cream two ready for the quiche in case I need them and two towards the Christmas so cream is going to be crossed off as well so that's that bought then we bought ketchup and daddy sauce so ketchup and brown sauce, part of the normal shop, but also towards Christmas. That's going to help us make our sauce for some of our dishes for our fake away Chinese. So there's quite a bit taken off there as well. Then we've got some mushrooms, not towards Christmas yet for our Christmas Eve Chinese. These are just mushrooms to be going on with. We'll get the other mushrooms next week. And I can't believe it's not because we are nearly out and they are not on offer. So I'm only going to buy one at a time. And then I think finally, Marks and Spencer's Tangy Tomato Salsa because I got it for free on the 12 days of Christmas on the Sparks app. So out of that, I got lots of discounts, none really applicable to what we were buying. But I did get the free mince pies and I've got my free tomato salsa. So there we go. So all in all, the main Tesco shop came to £28.74. So that's not too bad. Add £3 on for the eggs, £28, £31.74 in total for all the shopping. So we've got another oleo haul. We're doing so well on the oleos this month. So we've got a bit more bread because we are nearly out of sliced bread. So I thought I'd get some more of that for sandwiches, although Chris has been taking rolls. So I got some of those as well. Um, brioche because Chris likes brioche buns. I'm not too fussed about a brioche bun. I think they sometimes can soak up too much juice from your burger, but that's, you know, Chris likes them, so he can use those. I'm quite happy with the, <laughs> the brown roll or even two slices of bread. Um, We've got a couple of sandwiches here. Spice, butternut, squash and chestnut. Now, if I was in the shop, I probably wouldn't buy this because I'd be like, mm, not sure. But I thought, as I'm getting it for free, I'll give it a go and see what it is like. We've got an avocado, which is feeling pretty good bit more broccoli so we know what we're going to do with that we're going to top take the top off we will store this separately um, as I described before and a romaine lettuce because this will keep going for ages so that can go into some sandwiches for Chris so again really really good on the old oleos this month we are having such an amazing oleo month I've just collected just a few leeks <laughs> I only asked for two, but um, the person I was collecting from said, well, I've got some left. Do you want to take the rest? And I was like, I am sure I can find something to do with them. So I think we'll probably be having something leak based for tea tonight. Not sure what yet. It's going to go on Pinterest. Love Pinterest. And then they all look pretty good, Nick. Uh, probably the top layer just needs taking off, but they're all looking pretty good. Um, the rest of them I will probably just shred um, into a fine, you know, shred of um, leeks and bag them and freeze them. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have a think now what I can make for tea. 
so I'm out in the garden deciding do we need to buy potatoes for Christmas I know they're dirt cheap but dirt cheap potato <laughs> I know they're really cheap at the moment in um, Sainsbury's and Tesco's and places but if I can dig up my own that will be even better and I've got a couple of oh that's not no that's not very great no Woo! you see that <laughs> right we'll pop those ones to the side hopefully we have got some semi decent ones I'm just going to dig up this one container and see at the moment if we've got oh enough for oh that one's a squidgy one as well that one's a squidgy one oh these got no that one's fine these are fine that one feels a bit squidgy. I think some of these have had the frost get to them, which is a bit sad. No, it doesn't look like there's much more in there. I am going to have to have a dig through another one. Right, let's go through this small one as well. Oh, okay, that one feels fine. 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 Get rid of these leaves. Yes. Two very tiny ones. Any more, any more. Some, I say, I only need enough. Oh, no, it's a squidgy one. To serve me, Chris, my dad, and then another portion for my dad for his Boxing Day lunch. I think I'm going to make it. Oh, right. I've just dumped them all in there for now. I've still got one large container to go through but what do you think do you think this is enough should I grab that spare one as well just grab a bag just to make sure it is nice to have your own homegrown ones though it does make a bit of a difference I think, yes, I'm going to have enough. Oh well, okay. I'm going to sort of finish this off and then we'll have a look at what shopping we get tomorrow. Big shopping! So we've been to Marks and Spencers, Tesco's and Waitrose. Um, so let's have a chat and talk about what we've bought and what we've spent. Start at Marks and Spencers. Go to Marks and Spencers with my dad. And I have mentioned before, I do like to get these plant kitchen Pizzas when they are on offer, it saves us about £1.50 if we get it on offer, so I'm not going to complain. And they had quite a few, and I normally only managed to find one. I got three. They freeze, so I thought, why not? And I also got some um, vegan pigs in blankets because we've had these ones before and they turn out quite nice. So, total at Marks and Spencers was £15.34. Over here. Now, I know I've pulled up some potatoes. I could have just got one bag. That would have been enough and plenty for us. But they were only 15p. And I thought, do you know what? I'm going to get some more. On my canning group that I'm part of, which is Freedom Canners. I'll put a link in the um, description box on the, the Facebook group I'm in, who are brilliant. And I love them all to pieces because they've got such great advice. You can, can, can. You can can potatoes. So I thought for the sake of 15p and with it being my first time trying it, I'm going to have a go and it's not too money, money wasted if I mess up. So I did get those. Just one box of one pack of I can't believe because it's not an offer yet. Some Dijon because we have just run out. Parsnips for Christmas. Don't tend to have parsnips any other time. Lemonade just to top up. Minestrone still an offer three for three pounds. So I'm topping up there. Coffee and sweetness for Chris at work. Milk for me because I'm nearly out and I, it's easy just to get a full thing and store it. A bit of ice cream because it's delicious. And then towards our Christmas Eve faux Chinese takeaway, I've got some mushrooms. I've got some This Isn't Chicken and some tofu for that. That was the Marks and... No, that was the Tesco's one. Now, Tesco's, this would have cost £26.89, but I did manage to cash in, just in time, a £25 Tesco's voucher from doing my postal surveys. So this actually only cost me £1.89. 
over to the posh stuff from the Waitrose. This is where we were getting the pudding, Pringles, dips, nibbles, etc. for Christmas. We had £35 of Waitrose vouchers to spend and spend them we did. So we start in this melt in the middle chocolate pudding, all the calories, probably really bad for you. So something really nice for Christmas Day. And then onto the nibbly bits, we've got some tomato, mozzarella and chini bites. The vegan Asian selection looks delicious. Then some truffle mac and cheese bites. Spotted these in the veggie section. Some porcini mushroom spinach quiche and shawarma kebab meat. This has been taste tested by non-vegans and in terms of kebab meat and this kebab meat it has actually come out on top a number of times so if you've never tried it it is absolutely yummy both of those are going to go in the freezer and they will reduce so there we go so dips we've got some salsa and onion and garlic dip some white miso because i have run out and that is amazing to add flavor to everything and i thought while i was there i would grab it and then we've got the the crispy things so a pack of pringles some sea salt balsamic vinegar some mango poppadoms, which are really, really tasty. So all together, the Waitrose came to £36.84, £35 of vouchers taken off, so that was £1.84. So out of my physical pocket, cash money was £19.7p. I am not complaining, some savvy shopping done vouchers used this is why i do all my surveys and things like that to claim vouchers because they just help me out massively so that's all the stuff done for christmas Whew. i'm glad i don't have to go shopping again for at least another week same day as my main shopping that you've just seen um i did an oleo pickup and requested the bread items the salad and the ravioli which sounds quite nice and then got a message saying we've got some eggs somebody's not collected them do you want those as well now normally we'd only get eggs from our friend rachel um but as these were going to be going anyway we thought well they either go to us or they go in the bin so they might as well come to us because i'd rather do that than have food wastage so there we go so we have got some rye and mixed seed sourdough i've got to say i am loving sourdough bread we got a sourdough recently sourdough bread with avocado on i've done my roasted tomatoes and a little bit of that feta that i got Ooh, absolutely yummy final oleo <laughs> final oleo before christmas should be unless some people are get, grabbing stuff tomorrow which is there every possibility they might do but we will not be going out on christmas eve and collecting so we have got some mushrooms uh carrots and hummus tea cakes i've not had tea cakes for ages so nice um these if you've not had them these protein warburton thins are delicious some more sourdough because i'm loving the sourdough toasty bread Loads of sandwich bread for Chris, some falafel stuff for lunches, um, some pesto uh, pasta over there. So look at that. That is quite a an old haul to do. So um, at the moment, Chris is in the dining room where we keep the spare freezer and we need to do a bit of a defrost and an organise. So quite a lot of this is going to fit in there. Back from shopping with my dad, I only had a couple of bits on the shopping list. So noodles and rice and toilet paper, which is on the stairs, um, was on my list. So those are the things I bought. I did see the Beyond Burgers, which were reduced to £2.50 on a club card offer. I thought we'll just get one of those. Uh, bananas are from my sister's because she doesn't like them when they start to go that colour. So she nobbles them to me and we got some new little baby grows for the Tinkerbell so she can look super, super cute. In total, including the toilet paper, that came to 1969. I had £6.77 on a gift card, that gift card that I had left over. But once you took off 
the um, baby grows and you took off the toilet paper um, with the discount from the Beyond Burgers, it only ended up costing £3.90, I think. So that was covered by my gift voucher. So essentially I spent nothing. So it'll be interesting to see how the vouchers this month have helped us with our shopping and how much we spent at the end of this month. Well, in the time it's taken me to edit the video and work out how much I've spent, it's come pitch black and it's only 10 to 5. Oh, I hate winter so much. I want some sunshine back in my life. It was horrible today. It was so rainy. Anyway, I have done some calculations. I have got, as usual, my piece of paper with lots of bits written all over it. And I have worked out how much we have spent for the month of December, including Christmas. Now, I will make a disclaimer. Christmas drinks or any drinks in terms of any kind of special drinks or alcoholic drinks are not included in my grocery budget they are a separate budget they are classed as a treat and something special so they do not get included in my grocery budget my grocery budget is my standard tea coffee lemonade juice and food so for those things that we have spent and obviously we have had a good month with some vouchers which has helped tremendously we have spent cash money out of our pocket 86 pound and 59 pence which is brilliant i am very very pleased with that so december did not break the bank this time and oh my goodness having looked back at the different videos that i have made we have done so well with oleo this month so much stuff it's absolutely unbelievable. I am really, really pleased with that. I'm hoping to carry on with masses of oleos over the coming year and see if we can keep our budget reasonable. So what I'm going to do next is go through all my other budget videos for each month. If you've not seen them, please go and watch them. They are quite a fun watch to see if you're a bit nosy like me and like to see what people are buying and also what people are spending and we will then have a video coming out after this one which will be the 2023 full on how much did we spend on groceries for a whole year for the two of us so watch out for that one thanks for watching please do the liking subscribing and hit that notification bell for that next grocery video coming out should be Wednesday and I will see you next time. Happy New Year!